Okay, so for any material, when you write rho equals to that is rho equals to R A by L, and from this you write resistance of that material that is resistance R equals to rho that is resistivity of that particular material into L by A. Now let us try to understand why you write R equals to that is proportional to length L and inversely proportional to area that is cross section area of that material. Let's try to understand. So uh, for that, let's take a material and uh, let's take a 3D shape to understand it better. So uh, I'm taking a material and uh, I'm taking its length say L. Okay. So its length I am taking L and uh, its uh, height height I am considering D and its width let's say W and its cross section area that is this cross section area is A. Okay. Now uh, when you apply battery across this uh, material then some current will flow. So let's say current is coming I in this cross section area and will come out same current I from another terminal of this material and I am applying voltage V. Okay. So across this terminal I am applying voltage V. Now uh, from Ohm's law you will write you will write that resistance is going to be R equals to V by I. Voltage V voltage is applied and then I current will flow through this material. Now uh, let us try to understand first why this resistance of this material. Now uh, we are provided that uh, rho, rho is conductivity of this particular material which does not depend on the shape of that material. Okay. Now uh, we will understand why this resistance is uh, proportional to length L. So uh, to understand that uh, let us take uh, two same shape material and put them in series back to back. Okay. So okay. second one is uh, looking like shorter but uh, I am taking uh, the same length of both the material. So like this. Now length of this material is L and length of this material is also L. And uh, the voltage I am applying is V across this material and V across this material. So basically I am increasing the length means L dash I am making 2L. And what will happen again current will flow I. Since these two material are in series then the same current will flow. See whatever is coming then same current I will go. Now from this if I want to write out the resistance then R is going to be V by I. But now V is going to be 2V. The total voltage across this combination is 2V. So R is going to be 2V by I, I is same that is in case of the single material. Now this is going to be 2 times of R. So this is let us call it R dash and this is 2 times of R. So if you increase the length by twice then resistance is increased by twice. Hence we can say that resistance is proportional to the length of that material. Now try to understand why this area, this resistance is inversely proportional to this area. So to understand this, uh, this time let us put these two material in parallel. I mean to say that I uh, will put these material one on top of another. Okay. So uh, by doing this what we are going basically is we are increasing the area. Okay. So this cross section area will be increased. right? So this cross section area will be increased and it will become twice of previous one. Okay. So uh, what will happen the current was flowing in this material was I and the current was flowing in this material was also I. But since these two material are in parallel, so voltage across this combination will be same as V. Similarly, I current will come out from this material and I current will come out from this material and total current will come out is 2I and total current will be going in this material is 2I. Now uh, from Ohm's law, we want to write down this resistance is going to be V by I. V is same because it is in parallel but current is become twice. So it has become twice I. So uh, the V by I was R and it has become R by 2. So if we try to understand this then if area is become twice then resistance is become half of previous. It means that uh, resistance is inversely proportional to the cross section area of that material. Now from this so we can conclude R is proportional to L by A. And to remove this proportionality, uh, we will get R equals to rho L by A. Rho is a constant that is called resistivity of that material. So this is how uh, we say that R is proportional to length L of that material and inversely proportional to the cross section area of that material. So this is all about this video. 
this was based on basic concept we will put more videos like this which will help you to crack the interviews of iit iic mtech admissions okay thank you